Yeah. Am I thinking correctly that I need to orientate them with these numbers facing the right way as well? So I've got them all in the right spots for the numbers on top. Or is it just the top ones need to be facing the right way? Yes and no? Yeah. The problem is I don't know how to get them like that. Okay. So I've got the right numbers on top. Might not have noticed something. Different shades. but they're the same shade here. I think they're just different shades because I've got that one highlighted. Yep. I know the board isn't the right orientation shown here. So is that the bottom or that the bottom? That's one problem with these pictures. They don't show you which way the bottom is. And then that looks, that's a different angle to this again. Okay, the positions are correct. I need to turn them so the numbers are facing the right way. Like that one is facing up that way, but on here it's down that way. Maybe? And I don't know how to get that to turn. No matter how I turn it, it's still facing that way. Yep. Okay. My problem is, I don't know how to get them to show different faces when they're in the right spot. Did I just get that? Six and four. Nope, five and four. So I need that orientation, but one more over.
I'm thinking I'm trying to get them the same orientation. So one on top and then the for this one will be two and three on the sides. Which would be two and three. But with this one, I can't work out if it's even possible to move it around to get it in that place with the one on top with two and three on the sides. The only way I can do it is like that in the wrong spot. That one I was thinking four on this side would mean that is the right orientation as well. But same situation there. I can't get it in that spot with five on top showing anything but the six. Do I have any of them in the right orientation? I know I don't have those ones. Six, four, two, one. Six, five, two, three. No. Three, six, four, one. Three, two, four, two. No. Yes, please. Three of them are in a solved state. At least three. None of them are the same orientation as in the pictures. The only thing I can think is the other side of the three, directly under it, is a four. That's got the four there. That one, the one, the side touching the bottom, is a six. So is that one supposed to be six? Other side of that one is a one, so that's B1. Then it's different to the picture. Nope. As it is, they've all they're all showing different numbers on the faces. on the top. Is there another clue for this puzzle or are those three pictures the only clues? I feel like they should be the only clues but it also feels like I'm missing something. Okay.
Am I able to get to that text again anyway? I don't think I can. Yeah. Yeah, I can get the puzzle back to this position. Easy, reasonably easy enough. I know how to do that much. Like, if I want the this one to say four on top, I can go, there's the four, there. But I know it's supposed to be one, so there. Or if I want this one to show three, find out which side has the three, and then I can go there. So I know simple, simple enough how to get this pattern back. I'll go back and see what it says. I can't figure this out. Like I kind of skipped over the text going into it because I was thinking, I've got the clue. I know how to do these puzzles. Well, okay, do, solving this puzzle will give me that. There's a small depression or with a transparent cover on it. It seems to be part of the table. I think there's a blue memory card in there. Yep, there sure is. Roll the six dice to move them to where they need to go. The direction of each die of side, the direction of each side of each die must match a specific pattern. Choose which die you would like to move by clicking it. You can roll it vertically or horizontally by clicking the and dragging the mouse or using the arrow keys. So it's saying there that these three, all three sides we see in the picture or three pictures need to be the same directions. I'm guessing that's where the oversight is and that's not possible I guess. Let me check something. The other side of that would be three. A three would be touching the one. It's definitely possible. And that is the proper solution. That's where I'm going wrong because I don't know how to get that configuration. What I might try to do, I know I'll move this one into the right spot and I'm just going to move the rest right out of the way. So I've got the whole board to play with. This one needs to have that very orientation but in that spot. Can I just... I need it turned around one more. That turned it around. doesn't do it.
that's the orientation I need, but in that spot. I am getting it to move, but then that's back to that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to think, is there a... I was trying to think, is there a way to calculate which way they're going to go? But I can't get it. Okay, no problem. I can easily get it on that configuration in other spots, but not in the spot I need it. Either, the only ways I can get it to orientate here is showing the four, one on top, four and two, or well, that's the same. Again, same. or three and five on the sides. Is there anything else you can say to help? Because I just can't work out what else I can do. Okay. Because I can't get this to orientate the right way. I can only get it this way or show the four and two on the side. I can't get it to show the two and three. Okay. They can't be one more box across either, can they? Yeah. That's, that's what I was thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm wondering if there's a row over here I can't see. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's not. Which means it's not possible to have the two and three 
showing there. But... Yes, I know the exact placements. That's where that one goes. Blue goes there. I'd have to look at the pictures to get them right. Or I can look here. Three red, six green, five blue, four red, two green. Goes in that order. But when it comes to changing the sides of them, I don't know what numbers are supposed to be to the sides. Three colours. The sides facing up are equal six, eight, and seven. Not that that means anything. Two of each color. I'll quickly put them in the right spots. So three red and six. Five, four, two. That was a bit of a fluke. I don't know how that happened. I was just getting them back into the right shape and it worked. I don't really know what gave the right order or anything. So anyway, that puzzle's done. Yeah, I accidentally did it. Um, I'll, I'll take accidentally did it any day as this puzzle was annoying. <laughs> That's how I had it at the start though. I had at the, when I first put them in this order, I had one, three, six, five, four, two in those right spots but the game didn't accept it ah that one i had facing the wrong way i had it facing this way and i just couldn't work out how to turn it around somehow pushing it to the side and moving it and then moving it back got it in the right order ah yes Yep. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I just was trying to do that. I just couldn't work out how to get it done. The one, five, and four are always correct. Okay. So the programming just looks where the dots are on the face. And the color of the dice so the programming would have spotted that there was a dot in the center there and a dot in the center there not those two dots therefore it didn't accept it I get it I just couldn't work out like you even saw me playing around with that one trying to turn it around I just couldn't get it to turn so I knew how to solve it I just couldn't work out how to get it to work, how the die, how to get the die to turn to the right orientation. Got it. Ha, huh, got it. I had a feeling you could do it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get it now. Thanks for the help. Good job. Have a look at this. Hey, it opened. I'm thinking there's still something else on this wall because this corner those three are all touching so those three are definitely well those five are definitely something which ones have I okay I've already done that row yep something just slid out from the wall yes I know what the heck is this ridiculously huge thing there's a screen down there down here it looks like it this is the only part you can actually interact with but it's dark there's nothing on it there are some card slots underneath the screen they look just like the ones on the polling machines in the AB rooms so that means we need to put some memory cards in here right yeah like the ones I've you've got in your hand right now this blue card huh well let's see if anything happens when I put it into the blue slot nothing let's see what happens if I put this in nope nothing you've still got two empty slots I'd reckon you need two more cards hmm yep that's what I'm guessing too nothing else there so there's seven across and the doors taking up the very center three high so those three are the door I'm thinking those three yep a screen huh there's nothing on it and it doesn't do anything when I touch it how do we turn it on hell if I know I don't see a button or a card slot or anything mm. not a lot we can do if we can't turn it on hmm might as well leave it alone for now I'm thinking there's probably another one over there no there's that one though one single spot darts again I need to find out what number I need to total and I need to find the darts starting in the corner I can only go four across How is anything be able to touch that side? It's those three. Ah. Slides out there.
there's a red memory card behind the glass. There's a binder behind the glass. Of course, they're both behind glass. So now I'm thinking it has to be something in there now. Those two. There's the darts. Are those missiles? Fire their darts. 